So here's my fat loss review for Lumen. Hey guys, Angus here, and this is the Lumen fat loss review. So question I get a lot on the Lumen is, is it good for fat loss? And I think a lot of people are gonna buy this for specifically for fat loss. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss my results, other people's results, and a bit of kind of information on the Lumen and will it help you reach your goals? So guys, I'll give you a quick bit of information or a bit of background on myself. I'm a personal trainer, I'm 40 years old, and all my kind of fitness, fitness metrics are really good. I've got a low resting heart rate, 39 beats. Um, I've got high HRV score, which is also a good thing. Um, oh, you can't see it behind me. You've got the skier behind me. I'm in the top 10 in the world for 100 meters in the skier. My fitness is good, but I have one metric that isn't so good, and that is I'm carrying too much fat. I'm carrying plenty of muscle. I have a nice healthy heart. Um, but I carry too much fat and there is a reason for this. So in my other Lumen reviews, loads of people give me loads of health and fitness advice and thank you very much for that. That's really great, but life is sometimes a little bit more complicated than fitting in a half hour cardio every day and eating clean. Um, life is so much more complicated than that. So I'm gonna pop in a quick picture of before and after of what I used to look like. So just before I pop in that before and after picture, I just want to give you some of my metrics that are happening just now. So this is my HRV score. This is done by an app called HRV for Training. It's a great app. I take my HRV every morning. This line is where I am. I'm 192. So most people are sitting around 63. Athletes will kind of sit at 70 to 80. And I'm sitting way higher than that. I have a very healthy HRV score. Here's a quick peek on my Apple Watch of my resting heart rate, which is 39 beats per minute. Uh, Lance Armstrong at the height of his career and on performance enhancing drugs was around 35 beats. So this is my 100 meter results in the Skierg. Uh, this is for the UK, I'm top three. And then this is my before and after picture. The before picture um, is a bit deceiving because it was actually bigger than this. And in that before picture, I could run 10 miles and do a set of 30 push-ups, no problem. Um, it was just one of the only pictures I had. When you're bigger, you generally don't like to be on camera. And then the after picture there, I'm fairly lean. I'm probably sitting around 10 to 12% body fat. I have a bit of a pump and I have some veins showing. Um, and I don't have many photos of me that lean either. So that picture was of me in my early 30s. I've just turned 40 um, at the beginning of this year. And in between that space of time, I've had a lot of life scenarios happening. So the, despite the fact that I run my own gym, despite the fact that I run fitness classes, despite the fact that I run this, life sometimes just gets in the way. I have four children, I'm the main carer for them. My daughter, who is the my eldest child at the end of 2016, got cancer. So I took two, well, took two months out. Her, long story short, she's fine. Um, it was drama, it was stressful, it was awful. And my go-to as a previous fat kid, fat teenager, is my go-to is food. So I switched off exercise and started eating food and you gain a little bit of weight from that. Then, after all that kind of got resolved, there's still that background residual stress. And these are things that affect, you know, people just go on about calorie deficit. Life is, the, the losing weight is all about calorie deficit, but life, is about managing all these various things so you can maintain a calorie deficit. A calorie deficit is a massive stress on your body and if you have loads of other stresses, calorie deficit is not your friend. So then after that, sort of beginning of 2019, I really hurt my back really badly, kind of twisted my spine and popped a disc out. I was struggling walking, I had sciatica. I did it on the first of January 2019. So the whole of 2019 was just me lying on the floor for most of it. I was in, in a pretty bad way. I was popping painkillers and I'm someone who doesn't really take painkillers. And I was taking loads of paracetamol and ibuprofen and eventually went on amitriptyline, which kind of helped. And now I'm back, not quite to full movement. Like I get twinges and triggers. I have to be careful so I can't push my fitness like I would like to, like I could. So 
Lumen came up on my feed. I bought it on Black Friday 2019 and it got delivered end of March, beginning of April, end of March. And I've been using it and I think it's a great little device. So I'm gonna tell you why I think it's good and I'm gonna show you kind of my results that I've had with it and why it might be something you wanna consider if fat loss is your journey. And I'm gonna tell you how I also am using it with the rest of lifestyle factors. So here's a little picture from my fitness pal. So this is a one month of weight loss. So as you can see at the start, I was 223 pounds, 0.5, and I'm currently 118.9, and that's a 4.6 pound change in a month. Um, and next picture I'll show you is my waist measurement, which I think is probably more interesting. And here's my waist measurement, which is probably the more important measurement because my weight can fluctuate up and down depending on what kind of food I've ate and how much water is in my body. But the waist is kind of a, a consistent drop for me. So starting off at 101 centimetres around my waist, down to 93, it's an 8 centimetre drop. And that's in two months of using Lumen. The thing that I do with Lumen, which is a little bit different, is I don't have it on the weight loss or fat loss setting. I have it on the fitness performance setting and I'll explain why. So within the app, you get these three choices, healthy weight loss, metabolic health, or fitness performance. I've chosen the fitness performance because I'd rather want to kind of improve my fitness than worry too much about weight loss. And even though weight loss is, I think, going to be the majority of the people who choose to buy a Lumen will be their goal, I really think people need to be thinking about improving their fitness to boost their energy so they can sustain a weight loss program um, I find normally when you get weight loss and Lumen isn't any different when you get a weight loss program it comes down to calories so the calories Lumen will give you will tend to be quite low and if you struggle with low calories and you get low energy then going lower your calories isn't as ideal as burning more calories and eating an adequate amount of calories you're still creating a calorie deficit you just have more food but you have to do more exercise I um, hope that makes sense, rather than having very minimal amount of food and really struggling with your exercise. So that's why I've chosen to choose the fitness performance. And, you know, I'm finding my fitness is, is great. My performance is great. My energy levels are better and sustained. And I'm also finding that I'm, I'm dropping an adequate amount of fat loss fairly quickly. You know, four pounds in a month is a pound a week. That's perfect. That's great. And that, that's really without trying so I asked this question in one of the kind of Lumen Facebook groups, have you lost weight with Lumen? Just to see what other people's experience with Lumen is. And here's some of the different answers that I got. I've blanked out the names just to protect their identity. And as you can see, a lot of them have had some really good results. This person's lost uh, 21 pounds since between February and May at fairly steady rate, but their daughter also got Lumen, but she's not having the same results. So many comments and loads of people got really good results. And I'll explain why I think th these people really got some good results. So here's the Lumen here on its little charge stand. I've got the light on it there just now, and that means it's ready to breathe in. It's got a little cap and you breathe into it and it detects how much co2 you have and it will tell you based on that whether you're burning fat or carbs and then give you dietary recommendations based on this and that's a metric called rer which is respiratory exchange ratio and you can go google that and have a look at that it's a real metric it's not some made up thing so when you breathe into lumen you get a screen like this this one here is is a one that means you're mainly burning fat that's really useful if that's your goal is to burn fat but just because you measure one here doesn't mean you're necessarily burning body fat if you add a lot of fat it means you'll be burning the dietary fat but you can kind of base it on how many calories you've just eaten whether it's body fat or dietary fat that you're burning and you can easily kind of work that out in your head and also when you're burning a one this is generally not a good time to do a high intensity workout you might want to carb up before that especially if you've been on a couple of low carb days before it and you're feeling maybe a little bit flat but going for one and going for a walk can be a really useful thing you can also do these exercise measurements so this is a 60 minute walk and before the 60 minute walk i was blowing a five which means i'm burning all carbs and then 30 minutes after the 60 minute walk I was blowing a two so you can see how exercise actually changed the state of your body and the state of things so 
each workout does matter, each meal does matter. And this, I think, is the real benefit of Lumen. It really helps keep consistent with your things because you get directly punished if you go off your diet because you'll you'll measure quite a high measurement, but you get directly rewarded after your workout and you watch your level drop. You know something physio physiologically has happened to your body to change your state. So overall, I'm a huge fan of Lumen. I think it's a really cool thing to get. And I think if your goal is fat loss, it's really useful. And the thing that I didn't mention at all in this video is metabolic flexibility, which is what Lumen's really based around. And it's making your body efficient to burn carbs when you need to and to burn fat when you need to. And the better you are at burning fat, the better you will be at burning body fat. And that's one of the big things that I think you can learn from it. And I think that's one of the things that I've really gotten a benefit from it. So despite the fact that my body can be quite stressed and when I push my body too hard, I kind of reject a little bit and my body clamps down, I find with Lumen, I can just effortlessly get into a nice balance and a nice routine with my exercise and my fitness. I shed a little bit of fat and improve my fitness at the same time. So I highly recommend Lumen. Um, I do have a discount link in the box below, so check that out. And I'll also link a few videos in the bottom for other things. So thanks very much for watching and hit subscribe if you like reviews on health and fitness tech. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end, really appreciate it. Um, if you could hit like, I'd really appreciate it. What I've done is I've created a lot of Lumen experiment videos, which are really well worth checking out, especially if you think you're gonna buy Lumen. Um, I've done about four experiments up to now, and I've also done a couple of other reviews on Lumen from a different perspective. I'll link those in the description.